Good morning, world. Um, it's freezing this morning. I have wet hair. I just got out the shower, so I will blow dry it, Mom, I promise, because it is way cold outside, and I don't want to get sick, like you say. Love you, Mom. So, the topic today on my mind, well, actually, it was from a neighbor. He gave me the suggestion, so thanks, neighbor, hey, for uh, giving me the suggestion for the topic. Um, if yourself now could tell your younger self something, what would it be? Well, my biggest one would be to tell my younger self not to ever pick up drugs. Although Dare, I don't know if y'all remember Dare, told me that as well. I didn't listen. And who knows if I would have told my younger self somehow, if I'd like a dream or whatnot, and some people may have had dreams from their older selves or whatnot, but would I have listened then either? Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? But that's what that would be my thing. And to um, also, the other part of that would be to tell my younger self to love myself, and then I don't need anyone to do that for me, although it's nice and helps out, but I have to love me first. Um, before I can be whole to be in a relationship, before I can be whole to be the best mom I could be, the best friend I could be, the best daughter and and family member I could be, sister, all that. So even though, you know, I may have told all this stuff to my younger self, we all have to learn and grow. And I know I had, I'm stubborn as heck. I had to, um, bump my head so many times to learn. Sometimes it takes to live and learn and just pray that you make it through or that, you know, you will have good blessings along the way, um, and do good things to get those blessings. But, you know, it would be nice in a perfect world where if I listen to everything that people have told me throughout my life walk, who knows where I would be. But again, if, if, if I didn't make the mistakes I've made, it wouldn't make me who I am today. So it's just a fun little topic. Um, what would your self now tell your younger self? And it also helps put in perspective of, um, of, it helps me put in perspective of the mistakes I made. And yes, I have guilt and shame around that and that's okay, but not too much. It's okay. It's not good for me to live in the guilt and shame, but it's also good for me to remember back of the things that I've done so that I, like I say, won't make those same mistakes again, hopefully. Yes, God, just keep on the right path, Marley. Um, but yeah, I mean, it made me who I am today, so it's okay. I made it through. I mean, it wasn't okay what I'd have done, but it's okay now because I made it through and I'm learning from my mistakes. So just think about today. What would you, um, tell your younger self and, uh, and also, have some love and compassion for yourself. Even though, you know, I've made mistakes and stuff, like I said, I have a different love and compassion and self-love for myself. And I think the strong word for, key word for me is compassion. Because although I may still stumble now, whether it's whatever category, like it's not drugs anymore, but, um, you know, whatever it is, um, having that compassion for myself so that I can keep moving forward and not letting it stay, letting, not having it let me stay stuck. So it's free, freezing this morning. My fingers are barely working and my lips are kind of, um, frozen. I was just outside. I had a hood on, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just stay warm, stay you, stay positive, And I love y'all and I'll see you next time. Mwah.